All right, I'm back. Uh, let's see. Today I'm gonna do the back to the basics video on food. Uh, right now I have them eating on frozen adult brine shrimp. These guys love it. Especially you should use uh, brine shrimp alive or frozen if you're breeding fish, like I'm trying to accomplish with the cactoides. Uh, always use them when you're breeding fish or as a treat every once in a while, maybe once or twice a week. Uh, uh, what else? Dry food, uh, like tropical flakes and, uh, goldfish flakes. Uh, they're, they're really good for fish like tetras. You don't need special diets. Uh, quarries will eat them if you don't have any pellets, like... New Life Spectrum. These are pellets. They don't. They don't swallow them. The only one that can actually swallow them whole are the uh, male cacatoidy. I don't know if the females have eaten them. I didn't see them. Uh, what else? So brine shrimp, baby brine shrimp. Brine shrimp is for adults mainly. Bigger fish. Baby brine shrimp are for tetras and baby cichlids. Baby. Uh, baby, or like week old baby tetras and uh, beta fry and stuff because they're really small and they need infu infusorians first. Uh, never mind, infusorians are basically microscopic to pretty much microscopic beings, kind of like freshwater zooplankton uh, in a way that really, really small fry will eat like the beta fry, tetra fry, and they need them as their first food because their mouths are too small to take in baby brine shrimp. Uh, if you're a beginner, I do recommend getting some frozen brine shrimp, frozen, and if you have smaller fish, frozen baby brines and tropical flakes. Use the baby brine shrimp as maybe a tr like a treat every once in a while. Uh, black worms, black worms are okay, but do not use them with the pistos because they're, they're really bad for the males. I don't know why, it's just something with their digestive system doesn't work very well. Uh, what else? Uh, red worms, or blood worms. These guys are actually a type of gnat larvae that are also really good, but don't feed them too much, especially the guppies, because that's what happened with my females, they fed them too much and they all died, because they got popped by, so definitely do not feed them, at least not very often. Uh, what other food do I use? Oh, mosquito larvae, other than bloodworms, they're really good, make sure you're not, you're not from a polluted area. So, uh, these fish love live foods and frozen live foods. They will go crazy. My quarry will eat until they explode. Release. <laughs> Might. Someday. Explode. Alright, uh. What else? Okay, the good food when you're breeding fish. Because it has a lot of protein. Live foods. Feed them live foods, frozen for live foods, uh, freeze dried, I don't, I have freeze dried, here I'll show you, uh, that down there, those are freeze dried blood worms, I think, but it's, I don't use them out often because they don't really eat them very well, uh, what else, uh, I'll do another, I just got an idea. I'll do another video on breeding different types of fish. I haven't successfully bred any fish but guppies, but I know pretty much everything about breeding every fish that I have. Tetras are pretty much all the same. A few different tetras barbs and uh, tetras barbs and that uh, minnows are pretty much the same. Uh, what else? I'll do one on making your own life by passing your own baby brine shrimp, uh, 
Different types of plants. I guess that's kind of for an info Tuesday. I still haven't come up with a better name for that. Uh, what else? I'll show you what baby brine, sh or brine shrimp eggs look like. Some of them, sometimes they come in this vial, and uh, the uh, tiny black powder stuff is, yeah, are the eggs. Uh, the cool thing about these guys is that, like killifish eggs, if you ever read something about killifish or those stupid magic fish kits, that uh, their eggs will stay stay alive for up to two to three years, uh, as long as they're dry. Uh, and to hatch them, you need salt water, a special mixture, blah, blah, blah. I have that on my website, apitotank.weebly.com, A-P-I-T-O-T-A-N-K-W-E-E-B-L-Y.com. Uh, uh, I think I might do one on algae. Yeah, I'll do one on algae eaters after I get my Otocats. That little black stripe right there is the top of Complexo. I have another one in there, but I don't know where he is. I uh, saw him on the glass. Uh, don't get Complexos. I hate these things. They don't do anything. Uh, so that's about it for the food. Um, some fish that, like, that's... Some fish will keep eating and eating, so don't make sure you don't overfeed them, because then the then they'll look like this don't want to eat, then they leave it, and they come back, and they leave it, and then you're gone, and you don't know if they're eating it or not, so make sure you have the right feeding amount. Uh, let's see, what else? That's it, see ya.